The next ones are thirst and hunger. Again, these are very, very powerful motivations. These are sub-personalities. When, for example, when I feel hungry, and I feel really hungry, my hypothalamus will focus me on this one powerful sub-personality. The only thing that I need to do is get food. I don't care about anyone or anything else. This machine, as you can see when I first started this, these are all little machines. And when these things are running, other parts of our personality just disappear. All I want is food. I just need to have food. So let's first start with thirst. The hypothalamus is constantly, is connected to different things that are constantly measuring the blood. And they're looking for different things. One of the things is sodium. Sodium is the, if not, it's the ingredient in salt. It's a very, very useful mineral. But if, for example, the blood levels of sodium are too high, if there's too much sodium in the blood, the hypothalamus will bring up this machine of thirst and I will get the feeling that I need to drink something. I don't care about anything else. I really just need to drink something. And I will automatically want to drink some water. Another one is the hypothalamus will measure how, how much water is in my blood. We call it blood volume. If, for example, I have a cut and I have lost some blood, it will instruct me to drink more water so that other parts of my body can make new blood cells. Because the, the body needs a certain amount of blood or even a certain amount of water. You know, we are 70%, our body is about 70% water and our hypothalamus is always checking and trying to maintain a certain amount of water. Irene. Uh, 
If, for example, we are feeling hot and we start to sweat, we are losing water, we, our hypothalamus measures the levels and as we continue to lose water, it will automatically know that we need to drink more water to get water back into our bodies. But an interesting observation, something, something else seems to have happened here. There are a group of people there, let's say they, um, they are runners, they are long distance runners. And so maybe they would run for, you know, a marathon or a double marathon. What these people, so recently, what, what has happened, what we have realized is that by observing these people is that they drink water, they drink a lot of water. In fact, it seems that they drink too much water because they are trying to, they don't want to become dehydrated, which means they don't want to lose too much water in their sweat. So they constantly drink more and more and more water. And we find that their water levels, the amount of water that they have in their, in their body is too high. Their hypothalamus has not instructed them to drink more water. They are just drinking it because they know that they are going to lose water. But by doing that, by drinking more water than they really need to drink, they, what has happened is that they are harming their kidneys, Shen, because the kidneys are not able to quickly remove the water. It, 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 they just overload their bodies and their kidneys with water and this causes problems for the kidneys. hunger so when we get hungry there are there are different reasons let's start with the first and the most obvious reason why we would get hungry we don't have enough energy so the hypothalamus is measuring there are two forms of energy that our body uses one form is called glucose, 葡萄糖, 
which comes from sugar or carbohydrates, tanshui fa ha wu. And the other form of energy is from fat or zhe fang or zhe fang suan. The hypothalamus is measuring how much energy, how much sugar we have and how much fat we have stored that it can use, that our body can use as energy. Now, when our energy levels become lower, the amount of sugar or the amount of fat in our bodies gets lower and lower, our hypothalamus will use a certain hormone. The hormone is called leptin. Leptin is the hormone that makes us feel hungry. When we have, when it, when we have leptin in our blood, we get this feeling, I'm hungry, I need to eat. One of the reasons is that I don't have enough energy. I need to find food that has more sugar or tan shui fa ho wu, carbs, or I need to find food that has more fat or zhi fa. By eating one of these kinds of foods, I will release a different hormone. So when my energy levels get slightly higher, my blood has enough sugar or my blood has enough fat, my hypothalamus will make the hunger stop. It will send another signal and a different hormone will get released. The second hormone is called ghrelin. So we have leptin, which makes me feel hungry, and we have ghrelin, which makes me feel full. I don't need to eat anymore. And the hypothalamus will choose based on energy levels how much I need to eat, and sometimes even what I should eat. Should I eat food that has more sugar? Should I eat food that has more fat? How much energy do I really need? It will make me feel hungry for a certain kind of food. Irene. Now, Okay. 
So, there are different kinds of hunger. One of them is real hunger, where I need energy. Another kind is fake hunger, where I'm just bored. And a lot of people have this, we just have fake hunger, we don't have very much to do, and we eat because we are bored, not really because we are hungry, but we think that we are hungry. This is one example of fake hunger. Another example of fake hunger is where we are misreading the signals. Sometimes our body makes us feel hungry, we get this signal and we want to eat something, but in reality, it's a mistake. Actually, we're not really hungry, we are thirsty. Because our body doesn't have a very clear way of knowing whether we are truly hungry or truly thirsty. And so the signal is kind of similar because if you think about this, most food has a lot of water in it. All vegetables, meat, nearly every food has some amount of water in it. And it's possible that we feel hungry, but our body actually just needs water. And so by eating, we're actually getting the water that we need. That's a different kind of fake hunger. Irene. A different reason to be hungry is not related to energy. And this is, this is quite interesting because a hypothalamus does not just measure energy. It also looks at the different kinds of minerals that we have or that we need in our blood. In the previous example I was giving you, I mentioned sodium or na. And an example here is if, for example, I eat food that has a lot of salt in it, my body will automatically, my hypothalamus will send a signal and I will automatically feel thirsty and I will want to drink more water to change or to reduce the levels of sodium in my blood. In a similar way, if my, my minerals, my level of other minerals is low, I will crave, I will want to eat certain kinds of food. Maybe for example, my iron is low here, and I will probably want to eat some, some spinach, maybe something green, some green vegetables to get more iron. Or maybe for example, my calcium guy is low, and I will probably want to eat some food so that I can get some calcium. The hunger that we get for certain foods is very interesting because it's almost like our hypothalamus knows, it has some idea of what are the nutrients that I can get from different kinds of food and what kind of food I will feel like eating. Another one is protein. 
protein, maybe I, I need protein, maybe because I've done some exercise and I've broken down some of my muscles, my body gets this craving for food that has more protein, maybe some meat or some seafood or some beans, whatever it is that can give me more protein, I might feel hungry for that because I need those nutrients. Irene. Alright, 